What's up, friends? This is Chaz bringing you another for better for worse vlog number. Is it 93? I believe. I got two strips for you guys, and the first strip is from November 28th, 2006. So, life can return to normal, that Liz. For a while, I want to go back to the courtroom to hear the verdict. I must say, your friend Anthony really stood his ground. They asked some tough questions, and he handled them well. He's a good man. I've always liked him. He's honest, hardworking, smart, funny, and kind. And he sure cares for you, Elizabeth. Mom, Dad, stop. Stop it. I have a man in my life. He might be in your life, but where is he when you need him? Ooh. At this point, I forget who she was with. I think it was a teacher she worked with in the I said it was so long since I read these parts of the strip and I'm gonna have to correct myself with editing and everything I'll confess that but it was either Paul or someone else Paul there was Paul and then there was one other guy then there was Anthony so, but I do kind of agree with the Pattersons on this. Like, Anthony has always been really good with her. I mean, yes, they've parted ways for a while, but I always thought those two were meant to be together. The other ones she was with, well, one of them was nice enough. He just didn't seem like the type to, you know, completely settle down. And the other guy was just a jerk. The one when she was in college, was it? It was, but he was just a jerk. He was really, like, he would definitely never settle down when she needed him. The other guy, it was kind of confusing. He he really liked to travel. He really had a lot of stuff he wanted to do in his life before settling down and committing. So he just wasn't ready for that commitment. But I think Anthony, even though he was married and divorced, that really wasn't his fault. It was his then wife's but I mean at least they got a little little girl from it Francis but I do kind of feel bad for Liz too because she's an adult and she feels that they're meddling with her life and she doesn't know yet that the one she's with isn't you know like the one and the final strip is from March 1st 1993 or it's or it's January 3rd but I think it's March 1st in this sentence, the verb seem, seen has been used incorrectly. I seen is incorrect. The word we want here is saw. Okay, I got it. I saw. Like, say you had a saw, right? You can't, like, say you seen the saw. You could say you have saw the saw. You can't saw the saw, man. I seen someone saw, so there was a saw in a scene I saw. See? And then I love it when we have a sub. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is kids for you. At this point, I think Liz was in middle school. Almost high school. And I just find that hilarious. They're picking on the sub in such a clever way. I mean, I mean that, that, that is clever. I mean, some students are just direct with picking on a substitute. Like, they throw something at them or they, or they completely act out, not doing anything with what they're trying to teach, you know, just being... But there, they, they're incorporating the lesson and picking on the teacher. Which is extremely, like, I'm sure it still is obvious, but it's it's less obvious. Like, it's hard to explain. Like, I never did that. I was always in a class when I seen one or two students do that to rank their regular teachers. Not just the subs, but I've, like, but I can see how it's funny from some points as an adult. Like, I guess I just never wanted to have any issues. Like, I just wanted to get through my day 
no matter what it was that I did to get through it. And I didn't think of all those things. Like, I don't think I've ever really skipped a class at all. And, like, I've never been in that big of trouble. The only two times that I was, was, one was by pure accident, and I was traumatized by a situation, like, I literally was locked in the bathroom in elementary school, and I took a while to get out, and then I accidentally talked so loud at the silent reading, and I lost five minutes of my break, Fifth, I kind of wish the teacher had at least listened to me before saying that I was just trying to be rude. I just was locked in the bathroom for like 10, 15 minutes. Like, but anyway, and the other time, well, yeah, there was a little bullying moment I had with a, for, a, a you know, an acquaintance of, well, a friend, but more of an acquaintance of mine now. But that was like, how do I put it? It wasn't right what I did, but it was kind of a point where I was paying him back because I felt that he always bullied me the year before. And it was, and the bullying I did was more exclusion, and not like, like calling names or, I don't think we called names, I don't remember, it wasn't just me, right? It was wrong, either way, it was wrong. But I never really got into any serious trouble of doing something that is completely against the law. You know what I mean, like, or not against the law, but detention worthy, like, and it was all in elementary school that it happened to me, so never in middle school, never in high school, I was pretty much the saint. Yeah, I know this was rather long for an explanation, but my point being, some students are just asses to teachers. And I hate to say this, but for some, for some of them, it's hilarious, right? For some of the teachers... These are hilarious. If they're a jerk of a teacher, you know, I would just find it funny. I wouldn't join in with them. And I wouldn't show it. I thought it was funny during that situation. But I just personally find it funny, right? So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.